interesting about this. I was the only candidate that Biden put billboards up against in Iowa. The only one. And in New Hampshire, I was the only candidate that the Democrats went after. And now in South Carolina, I'm the only candidate when that happens. What does that tell you? Biden is worried about us. He's not worried about Donald Trump. Because he knows that he can beat Donald Trump. He knows he cannot beat me. But you look at what happened a couple of days ago. Joe Biden is not going to be the Democrat nominee. You can look at the fact that even the own special counsel said he was diminished. He gets up to get on stage and he's angry, but he can't get it out. He's messing things up. But then you also look at what happened with Donald Trump. A few weeks ago, he sat there and said, Nikki Haley, and he mentioned my name three or four times, and said that I didn't allow security at the Capitol on January 6th. I never had a job in D.C. I certainly wasn't in charge of security at the Capitol. But he got me confused with Nancy Pelosi. We deserve better. gets to go to the polls starting Monday. And when you go to the polls, you get to decide, do you want more of the same or do you want something new? If you look at what more of the same has given you, it's chaos, it's disruption, it's caused our country to be angry, it's caused them to be divided, it's forgotten what our patriotic feeling is, that we love our country, I mean, don't you want to know what it's like to sit at the dinner table and not have a fight anymore over politics? Don't you want your kids to know what it's like to be proud of our country? Don't you want to remember what it was like when neighbors loved neighbors? Because we could have that again. But you can't have it with Joe Biden or Donald Trump. The only way we're going to have it is if we have a new generational leader and leave the baggage and the negativity of the past and we look forward with solutions in the future.